beleza? Aqui quem fala é o Leas, estou aqui no começo do vídeo para pedir duas coisas importantes aqui para vocês, para ajudar o canal. A primeira é deixar um like aí no vídeo, aqui embaixo, vai ajudar demais o feedback. E a segunda é se inscrever no canal, que estamos com a meta aí de 200 mil inscritos, fechou? Tamo junto, rapaziada, espero que curta o conteúdo aí, e é nóis. Eu acho que eles têm uma comunidade por trás deles. I think Zero so. Nation, a tough team. Yeah, I think Greyhound coming into this, a lot of people have been doubting them because of a lack of results. Cato wasn't great, but honestly, they're changing things here. That is a nice shot from Damal there to kick things off. Vexite, he is sent reeling. Yeah, instantly shut down. That was a bit of a start. And they're, they're kind of, they're, they'll take the hint. They'll say, all right, if you don't want us at the B-bomb side, I guess we'll come back to A instead. But it's a quick rotation from the CT side. And Dumao is ready with another headshot. Cold is there as well. And this is just looking very fine at the beginning. Zero, zero nation there. Has kept a couple of players there. And now the push comes through to short. Start the acceleration. Next up on the balcony in a good position. NQZ strikes with the M4 as well. And they've slowed down. They kind of hit the brakes here. And they're getting cleaned up by these rifles. SMGs and everybody is cleaned up. Up. There is no E defense anymore, so I, I'm not sure if I like this. Oh, what a shot! Cold Zero is gone and dead. What's the call here from Greyhound? It looks like Sicko wants to consider the wrap. He's spotted out a player. If they can catch this banana flank, then they can win this round, but they have to clear Damal. Alistair has to be ready for it. He's not. Damal finds the kill. The trade should be there, but somehow Damal gets two. He had barely a slither of health, but he finds both, and now it's all onto Inns. Sicko is still on that flank, and now there's two here and a smoke, and there's no time. That actually, that, I really like that shot from, from Inns. That looked really nice. But unfortunately, you could actually see the way that Alistair was positioning his model, that he wanted to peek all the way into the corner. He really thought that there was going to be someone hiding all the way to the right. And one coming in, Molotov's from the T side. Dumao up on the box, but he's turned around expecting the flashbang. Sicko, what a flick up, that double entry. And in spite of the triple stack, they're going to be able to get on there and get the bomb down. Dozens of mine to clear the boost as well. That's huge. Yeah, really, really well done. And that's a, I guess that's kind of an interesting problem to have. When you are boosted up like that, it doesn't really help that there's a smoke drop back there for you. Because obviously you, you're not going to fall off to pick it up. So, And if they ever come back, you're right, he can fall back and, throw, and pick up that, another smoke back there. So really interesting setup. 30 seconds and a good opening for Inns. Was spotted as well, the leg ladder needs to be careful here. Inns definitely knows. Oh, off the reload, he's going to re-peak. Inns gets punished. Alistair, though, has gotten out very deep. Might be low, but he has the AWP. Doesn't matter, though, because Lias has dropped one. NQZ relocates into the site. Alistair does strike, but he's so low. Has to make every shot count. How did he get another one there? That's unbelievable, but it doesn't matter. They are going to be executing onto the bomb site though. Yeah, Lias charging on through. Runs through the smoke, and wow, Tamal goes over, but Lado is still here out in the open. Gets two. Puts it even, but that bomb can come through. Orb in Sicko's hands. We've seen he's very careful with that weapon. And to plant behind the fountain. Probably unlikely. Just going to miss Sicko. That could have been a good kill to find. But in the end, again, it's, it's a side take that that shouldn't have looked like it should have gone Greyhound's way. Just the way that the setup was from Double O Nation. We're going to see them in action now, it feels like. Again, the timing is so aggressive right now. This is really early on. Oh, with a flash behind us. Beautiful. Leas on the double opening. And you see he's back there at AWP. Let's see if he's going to try and save it once again. He had the chance there once. They're but already out. They're already gone. You're not wrong about that. Wow, that was a sick timing on the <laughs> flashbang. I mean, yeah, he's still 11-1, and one and it's sixth round for Greyhound. Okay, he's 12-1. and one, But that, that kill barely counts. <laughs> that's but that's the problem. That's why I said it earlier. That's the problem with having this kind of a score line, right? Is it can be so deceptive. If you get a bunch of they kills, double smokes, they could actually block those two players off. But now instead, they kind of have to try and break over this triangle, triangular setup that's happening in the bomb site. Oh, they walk right through the smoke. That's unexpected. I don't think NQC was ready for that at all. Now it's just up to cold, and it's a nice shot. Seiko stealing the AWP. A two on. Has to reposition, and now they're just going to try and flash him out. Still this player on site. No, oh, both orbs strike. So they lost two over towards top banana. Okay, here comes the hit. Vexite coming on through. And you see, and next up on the site itself. But what a shot from Sicko. Still have to account for this extra player up on Cole. Catches him out as Vexite. Cole's there is farming with the fam has almost gets another. That nade, I think it's not going to hit it. So they are able to get through with the bomb. Unbelievable! After such a bad start out of Banana, they actually get onto the bomb side. They're so good at converting these def def yeah, deficits in the rounds. It's sick. 
Uh, Inns is here. And he's almost getting that tag up. Doesn't quite fall away. Wants to keep a little bit of pressure on. And Lado's coming around the corner. Jumps right into the AWP. Cold and Dumao left. And these three ticks, again, they've been they've been falling apart every single time for Zero Zero Nation. And there's going to be another one. A two-round lead for the T-side. This should never have been Greyhound's round. Zero Zero Nation had everything right. They, they did so much damage early. They got that free kill onto Lee as they burnt uh, in super low off the back of it. And yet, still, they hit it. Inns is trying to speed up behind it. Dimao, though, I think he really has been a, one of the standout players so far for Zero Zero Nation in terms of actually defending a bomb site. He's going to get a second kill right there. Yeah, I feel like Leas gave that one up. They, he got in front of the smoke. If they just thrown the CT smoke, then they'd be in a much better position now. Instead, they have to fight 3v5. Oh, no, now it's 2v5. Dimao again striking on through. The site is completely. No T's in it. Damao just charging on in, looking for more. That's four for Damao. Sicko, the only one remaining in this final round, and he's taken down by Cold Zero. And QC continuing <laughs> a ridiculous scoreline, 15 and 3. Yep. Round 16, only died three times when you're down seven rounds. Ooh, Alistair, though. Nice pick onto Damao. Oh, now he's getting a little interested. He wants, he wants some more. This would be a big kill. All that utility lost as well. Alistair finds another. Now they're going to be hitting on through. Cold Zero going to be pinching Lias. He's under a lot of pressure here. He's so focused on the players that have dropped on through and Cold exploits. Is there a chance for... Oh, they know that he's back there somewhere. That's a little bit of a shame. The fact that it's Lias they find us that second kill makes a huge difference because they're going to call it out immediately saying, no, he's still going to be back here in the hallway. So they're not going to be surprised by this push coming out. Exactly why they're checking it. So good heads up play coming up from Zero Zero Nation. And a three on three for the retake. Again, they do have that defuse kit. The smoke's already been used up. So they're going to have to try and just run in there and see if they can gun them down. Flashbang is in, but a cold is hiding in the corner. It's a good headshot. And Sicko is all on his own. Own. No way out of that round. Yeah, good recovery from Zero Zero Nation. Uh. Smoke up towards the library, but it is all a fake. They're going to be really quick to execute behind it. Should be no problem getting through. Eagle is there. C set 75 at the back of the bomb site. Don't really see the same kind of multi kills that you used to, but start. He's going to get one of them there. Oh, the spin! That is amazing. He's got another reload. He could have maybe had that shot. Dumal low on health, so is Cole, Cole a little bit tacky. Even a Galil picked up, swaps over to it, spamming on through. Liaz walks on through, come on, cut, trying to catch him out. Vexite actually does it, but they're out of time. Dumal just dodges them, hiding in the ruins. And it's going to be the conversion going the way of Zero Zero Nation. <laughs> Bomb would have killed Dumal anyway, but uh, good timing on Liaz. Where Inns is. It's only good for one. I mean, we saw Jamal yes. get two, so, you know, it can be good for two, but it's only good for one. And look at the rotation points. If they find ins and just go off it, then B is open. There's just no chance. If they go back to A, it works. So it's a massive gamble. Oh, ins catch the timing. Never mind. He's made what? it work. The flash down as well just runs on back. No one is there to contest him. That's actually an insane idea, but it's worked out somehow. I think Suicide Nation must be confused at this point in time. Oh man, what a cleanup! I don't disagree. I think I agree. I think what you said is true. I, I don't like that setup either. And I and his the only way that they could have made me you name it, he's banging it. Poor poor guy, he's no idea what he's about to be subjected to. So we'll see. I'll be in his DMs later for the bangs. It's um, instant sicko on the defense. But so far, this is a remarkable start for Zero Zero Nation. They're on the bomb site, no casualties yet, and one good kill here. Oh, sicko on top. Maybe it could have worked. But Cold was ready. Yeah, it's a risky play to go for. No flash or anything to support. And that's risky as well. Demal's ready for the swing. And yeah, this is going to be a situation where there's no way in for Greyhound. They have to fall on back. Alistair can catch if anyone's trying to hunt. But I mean, they just conceded so much ground there for free. There was really no contest uh, as that hit came through. Yes. Inns has rotated over a well-timed incendiary. Cole's going to run on through it, and the Inns, he catches a second with the flames. Cole brought down incredibly low as well. They're going to flank onto B because Inns went down. Inns is a B player. They're not going to be ready for Vexite up on the boost, and he's given the kill onto Cole for free. That bomb making its way through with 20 seconds left. There's Sicko, and QZ now has to do it all. Knows there's a player in here, misses the shot, and there's Vexite. That but I guess the flashbangs just kind of slowed everyone down. Oh, look at this info. This is good, yeah. Knows everything now. The AWP can rotate. 
They go fast, there's still only two defenders on A. They're all rotating. Look at this, there's a full-on rotate from the V-Bomb side. Good call, honestly, from the CT side. They're gonna get one kill there, but still in the pit is Liaz, and he's gotta worry about that. Don't wanna be up against the AWP at that range. Walking right into it next with a good kill, and he's gonna keep it going. Liaz is on his own, 40 seconds, and they're gonna try and escape. He knows it, trying to hunt him down, comes barreling through, and he actually gets the shot, but he's still so low on health, and they have time to get the bomb site. Both players have AWPs, Surely one of them swaps now to a rifle. You know Liaz was tagged running through the flames to fight with cold. But no, they're going to hold on to the orbs, and that actually gives Liaz an opportunity. The smoke through. The issue is both avenues are going to be covered with an orb, and if Liaz goes for the slow crawl, he'll walk straight into those crosshairs. You can see Lado trained in on the position. Liaz has to be perfect with this as he makes his way through, clearing CT, not spotted by Lado. Reposition, Liaz potentially has the opportunity, but no, Lado aware. It's chaos now towards B, but they are going to be committing on through, in spamming, doesn't connect. And that smoke goes down, Damal wakes his way through to pit, Sicko is here trying to catch somebody, and it's in, splashed off through with two huge kills. Lado gets the trade, but here's Vexite! Thank you, buddy! Alistair is here. Ince is falling back. This is really sketchy, all right. He's going to pick up a grenade instead, but he's surely dead. Alistair, yeah, run down. That flash was beautiful. Alistair had no chance. He's out in the open, and the issue is that is as soon as that smoke comes through, you kind of need Ince to be playing on site to support, so when Alistair gets flashed, he can then swing on through and, you know, play anti up on oranges, play, you know, just off the fountain, try and at least take some of that contact, because as soon as Alistair gets flashed there, it's over. And now we're, I mean, this is around that perfectly highlights. Yeah, that's a big problem. Vexite looked like he was ready. But that is one hell of an AK shot coming out. This might actually work out. Only a two man defense now inside of the A bomb site. Alistair has to do everything here. Next is behind him, takes him down. Liaz alone in the pit, getting spammed on through from every direction. Looking for this fight to try and finish it in apartments, but it's not being provided. That bomb comes on through. Liaz does get one back. Oh, and Jamal falls down. This is definitely on now. It's a Molotov on top. They're stuck inside of the bomb site. The whole rest of the T side, they're all just trapped in here. That's not a good sign at all. And QC, though, doing a good job at least getting that one. Ince and Liaz, they might want to try and do this anyway. They feel like they probably have a bit of a shot at it with the first opening kills there. Cold is low from the earlier nades. And Exodus inside. He did all the work in the round so far. Let's see if he can finish it off and try and get to that 30th round. And there we go. They get a kill each. 14, 15. Backside, he's made they... noise. That's been heard. Backside, one flashbang. It's better be good. It's in the air. There we go. It sets it up for Ince to pick that one up. Dumao is down and out of the round. That was such a critical flashbang. Unfortunately for them, though, they're still going to lose Ince inside of the bomb site. And that bomb is about to go down. They need another kill right now on the CT side. Oh, he's out of bullets. And somehow they still can't find the kill. Vex side, it looked like he had the opportunity. Oh, he could have had two there. If he had this round, maybe completely different. There's still a chance. I mean, they have to go for it. Alistair with the AWP in hand. So low. This MP9 can maybe do some work, but Liaz doesn't have much either. Next takes him down. Oh, now on to Alistair with the AWP. Looking for four, time against him, no kick in hand, and Cold Zero takes him down. We are going to overtime. Madness. I... It's very tough right here. I don't think they'll be able to defend this bomb side. They shouldn't be able to. You can see Vexide spinning around. It's like a flashbang from a teammate to set it up. Ince, what an absolutely heroic play. He's coming in from CT spawn to throw that flashbang. And now they're going to try and see if they can defend it. Ince is doing all the work here. A big double. And now Lado and Dumao are left two on three. I can't believe that they're holding on. The bomb is on the ground with 10 seconds left. And Lado, I don't think he can battle his way out of this one. I think it's simply too late. Ince is an absolute hero. What a round from Inns. It felt like that was just going to be the end of Greyhound. Oh, it goes down after time. I don't think that's going to matter. Inns is rotating away, so it is just this double setup. That Molotov could be everything. We're going to come down to the timing here. Liaz, I don't think he's going to pull it out. They just run on through, catches the first, but the bomb carrier stays alive. Alistair now looking for the fight, shoots him down. Ladder falls, bomb lost. Alistair with another. He is going to go down, but how do they recover it? Okay, they can get up there. Just enough in time to get it planted. 
Scary stuff. Flash into the sky, but he didn't really want to peek behind it. Bomb goes down with it. Only four seconds left, so they didn't have a lot of margin in this one. NQC, he's got the right idea. He sees the shadow, but he doesn't quite get the timing to mount with the headshot, though, instead. And that is enough to take down Sicko of Excite. He's kind of there. Wish he probably had a smoke. That would have been great. He's going to pick up an AK instead. Swings for it, but NQC, nice. this time he's accurate. Uh, at next, entering onto Archway. So that's that's been another thing that they've been leaning on. Archway, and then this this B contact play that we're going to see right here. Dumao flashed on through, and they just keep on going. Sicko, the only one that could save this round for Greyhound right now. And he's alone with no backup. Vexite's not going to be there in time to flash anything. This really has been their bread and butter for uh, for the T side. Yeah, massive gap in that smoke, and Vexite walks around the corner, not expecting to be exposed to the off of NQZ. So now two on three in the retake. Liaz and Alistair. Same situation as regulation, but now they've got some better weaponry. Flash comes on through. Cold in a good position in towards Ruins. Alistair's just going to walk on through. No, things better of it. Utility over towards Banana, smoking that one off. All on site, but Cold activates at the perfect time. Liaz was about to flush out the player in dark. And Alistair, there's simply not enough time to get this done. They know exactly where he is. Players everywhere. What a shot from Alistair. But he can't get it done. NQZ is there to take it. And we swap sides. Jumao was really, really good, I think, at playing Banana and B in general. So that, that made it hard, I think, for Greyhound to attack that part of the map. Not impossible, but definitely tricky. Cold is going to be opening this second half of overtime, and he will continue assisted flash from next to get that double kill. Oh, he almost gets ins as well. It felt like he should have had that. Ins lucky to get away. Cold with a miraculous double kill. And may as well make it three. Zamao is pushed down banana, as mentioned. 30 seconds left. You can do something here, Greyhound. Got to make it fast. Running out of time. Going to be a hit onto A. It has to be perfect. 3v3 on the side. NQZ misses the shot. Alistair has given it pathway through. But Ladder has struck. Next is here in the pit as well. The crossfire is strong. There's Ladder with another. And it's ends with 10 seconds left. AWP in hand. Had to hit that shot. And can't make it work. 18 oh. for 0, zero Nation. Three man set up inside of the bomb site for the CTs. So they're in a pretty good position. Although maybe if Cold gets side swiped here early on, they're going to be walking past. I mean, slowly, he just keeps going. A double kill for him once again. And he's done a plenty of damage to Liaz. Comes back with the pistol. Cold might have done it here. Ince and Alistair are left. Two versus three. And things that look a little bit grim here for the T side. Good shot. 20 seconds. It is a two on two. But look at the health, Lucy. They're practically dead already. Tomas is charged on through. Alistair's not going to be ready for this. And Inns goes <laughs> down. <laughs> zero, zero, nation. It took OT. But they take the map pick of Greyhound.